Welcome to the first paint along with Elizabeth here at the Columbia County Library. Uh, this is going to be a little paint tutorial and this is what we're going to be painting today so if you're interested stick around. So before we start make sure you have a canvas, at least one paintbrush, and some paints to paint with. And I'll go over the different colors I used but know that you can use whatever colors you'd like. So to start with I've got white, black, red, yellow, blue, and then I decided on this pink for the background. And like I said, whatever color you'd like, this is your painting. So I'm going to put some pink here on my palette. Um, you can use whatever you'd like for a palette. Paper plates work great. And then I'm going to take the biggest brush I have and I'm going to start filling in the background. Now it's best before you start on your second coat to let the first coat of paint dry. Uh, for the sake of this video, I did not do that. Now if you want to pause this video, walk away, come back when your painting's dry and add that second coat, or if you've got a hair dryer, you can hit it with your hair dryer. It's acrylic paint, will not hurt um, to be dried with a hair dryer. And now that I've got my background all finished, um, I'm also not gonna let this dry. I do recommend letting this dry or heating it with a hair dryer, but we're gonna go ahead and start on the flowers. So I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow to my palette. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of blue. Since I don't have a green paint with me, I'm gonna make my own green paint. And then mixing yellow and blue will give me green. And I'm gonna mix the paint with the end of my paintbrush. I find it way easier to do it with the end of my paintbrush because then my bristles don't get so saturated. And it's a little bit easier to wipe off. So once I start mixing, I realize that this really isn't the green I'm looking for. This is more of a sea glass kind of green. It's a little bit too blue. And so to fix that, I'll just add a little bit more yellow to it. And so adding the yellow should give me a little bit of a fresher green. And it's still not quite what I want, so I think that adding a little bit of white should lighten it up into the kind of floral green that I'm looking for. And 
and it looks like that does the trick. Since my canvas has dried a little bit since I started mixing the paint, I'm going to try to put one more coat of the pink on it. And I messed up, and there's blue, and I can cover that up. There's no mistakes here, only happy accidents. Now again, I urge you to let your painting dry before you start adding your flowers. This is a do as I say, not as I do moment. So I'm gonna go ahead and start painting my flowers with the pink still being wet. So I'm gonna take a much smaller brush and I'm just gonna add some real light strokes. I'm gonna paint the uh, stems of the flowers for the bouquet. And I added that little dot there that's kind of my idea of center to try to make sure that my bouquet is centered on the canvas. So just little light strokes. Um, they blend in with the background because my canvas is wet. So you start downward and then once you think you've got enough on the bottom you're going to try to match them up. So it's going to be two triangles. The one on the bottom is going to be a little bit smaller. I'm going to fill those stems in some more. And now I'm going up. And so I want them to kind of sort of match up. That center there is where you would hold the bouquet um, and where we'll put a little bump later. And I give this one a little curly cue. And I'm going to give that one a little curly Q too. And you don't want there to be too many stems on the bottom or too many stems on the top. You want to kind of have an even amount. So it looks like they all belong to the same bouquet. All right, and now to get to the actual flowers. I'm gonna start with blue. Just a little bit more blue. And then I'm gonna add some red. And we're gonna mix our colors together again, and this is gonna give me uh, purple. And then I want some more red, just as red, for my roses. So I start mixing and this is starting to look more plum than a lavender. So once I get that all mixed up, I'm going to try to add white to lighten it up just a little bit.
and we're gonna stir in the white. And if you've got purple already on hand, super, or choose a different color. And for the rest of my flower colors, I'm going to do white, and then I'm going to do a little bit of yellow. And once again, if you want to take this time to stop and let your flower stems dry or hit it with a hair dryer, this would be a good time. All right, to start, I want some little lavenders. So I'm going to take the purple and I'm going to do some really small strokes here. Little tiny petals all the way up. Now I'm going to add some little tiny roses and they're just a circle and then a little triangle shape and I'm going to go back in after I paint my little roses with just a little bit of pink. Next, I'm going to add these little fluffy yellow flowers. They look sort of like dandelions, mums. I'm not really sure what type of flower they are, but they're my flower. And you can add whatever flowers you'd like to your little bouquet.
I'm adding a little bit of white to my purple mum to give it just a little bit of texture. Adding that white adds a whole nother layer to the paint and it kind of brings it out a little bit. Now I'm going to add a little bit of greenery because I like it when there's greenery in a bouquet, not just flowers. So I'm adding little teeny tiny leaves to one of my stems. And now I'm going to add a little daisy because daisies are my favorite flower. This would be another good place to stop and let your paint dry before you add more flowers because um, you can kind of see how the white in my daisy is turning a little green because I didn't quite wait for those stems to dry before I added the white in my daisies. But that's okay.
I'm gonna add one more flower up here at the top. I think it might be a yellow daisy this time. Then I'm not super stoked with how the yellow looks against the pink. So I think I'm gonna go back to making it a white daisy. And I think I need one more of these little fluffy flowers down here. So I decided to add a little bit of white to the background to give it kind of that streaky look since it was looking very streaky in the first place. And so going between the pink and the white and kind of giving it that washed out look, um, it didn't really go as well as planned. I don't recommend. Um, and again, no mistakes, only happy accidents. And now I'm going to add a little string to tie my whole bouquet together. I went with yellow because it's my favorite color and it matches the little fluffy flowers down there. And so at this point, I'm just going to be nitpicking for a little bit, adding some things here and there to my flowers, not really doing anything productive. I could sit and nitpick on a painting for hours. So essentially your painting's done. Um, 
All you gotta do is, is decide where you wanna finish it off at. Thanks so much for joining me um, in the painting. I hope yours turned out splendid. I'm sure it did. And like this video, let us know if you this is something you'd like to see us put out again. Thanks so much for keeping me company.